Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. Hey, that's all right. Put it there, partner. You know, I think I've just about worked myself right out of a job. When the pupil gets better than a teacher, it's just about time to quit, don't you think? I'm just lucky this morning. But I guess I am pretty good. If you remember a year ago, I didn't know which end of a gun a bullet came out of. Yeah, I know it. Let's have a cup of coffee, shall we? You know, Dale, for a fellow born and raised in the city, I never knew I could grow to love a place as much as this one. I think he wants to see me alone. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to your clothes? Oh, Nellie Bell had one of her spells, and I got out to fix her and woke up in my birthday suit. Well, let's get in the hotel. Oh, don't open that door. Don't. Have you been feeling all right lately? See any spots in front of your eyes? No. Oh, all right. Don't. Don't joke like that. Give me something to close. I I'm liable to catch my death of deafness. Hey, here comes some girls. Oh, my. Get me a loincloth or something. What have you got there, bullet? Hey, this is a uniform from the state prison. That must have been an escaped convict that stole your clothes. <laughs> well, he sure traveled a long way to find me. It's over 300 miles to the state prison. I wonder why he came here. Listen, Pat, I'm going to stay on his trail. Hey, there's the rest of the uniform. Listen, Pat, you go to the sheriff as fast as you can. Show him these clothes and tell him what happened. Okay. Come on. Go find him, boy. got some clothes. Did you get a gun? No, the sap I borrowed these from didn't have one. How did you guys make out? Monster and I got horses, but no guns. Right over that hill is a ranch. No man lives there. 
You ought to be good for a couple of horses and a gun. Let's take a look. Hey, where is everybody? The sheriff's not in his office? The whole town was deserted. It is. The sheriff just got word that four escaped convicts are headed this way. Four? Yes, they were reported near Willow Creek, so he took off with every able-bodied man in town. Well, if he's gone to Willow Creek, he's just headed 20 miles in the wrong direction. Roy and I found these just five miles east of town. Well, it's not just one of them, there are four, and they're desperate. Where is Roy? Well, he and Bullet are out tracking down the guy that wore those. Hey, maybe I better get out there and warn him. He's just liable to run into a bus stall. Well, you can't do that, Pat. You're the only man left in town that can handle a gun. Now, you go and tell everybody to stay inside and keep their children at home. Now, Dale, you don't really think that an escaped convict's gonna come into a town. Well, I certainly do. What for? For guns and for money. You may have something there. I'll tell you what. I'll get Nellie Bell and cruise around between the bank and the hardware store. That way, I'll be covering the money and the guns and ammunition. Don't you worry about a thing, Dale. Me and Nellie Bell will be right on the job. <laughs> Gang up on him. And I'm not wasting it on that much. Oh, cut out the argument. We got more important things to do. Let's get into that town. Hi, Bullet. <laughs> Where's Trigger? Worried about me? You should be worried about Pat. He's driving up and down the street like he's crazy. Well, Pat's guarding the bank and the hardware store. There are four escaped convicts on the loose. Four convicts? Well, I was worried about you alone in your cabin. I thought they might walk in on you. Has anyone seen them? Yes, Pat did. One of them stole his clothes. Is the sheriff out looking for them? 
Yes, they were reported seen near Willow Creek, so he took every man in town to look for them. And all the time, they were right around here. Well, Roy's out trailing them. Have a cup of coffee. No, thanks. I guess I better get back to my camp. Mr. Thatcher, I think you'd better stay here with Pat and me. We're the only ones left in town that can handle a gun. I have my own property to look after. Well, it's not just property I'm thinking of, it's people's lives. They're not my responsibility. I don't belong here. Well, I guess you don't. Hey, where's Mr. Thatcher going after the sheriff? Mr. Thatcher has gone out to guard his precious cabin. Well, what's the matter with him? We could have used him. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you take buttermilk, ride to Willow Creek, get the sheriff, and tell him to bring the posse back. Oh, Pat, they may be scattered all over the country, and they might be gone for hours. Well, use Nellie Bell. She can get you there in a half hour. And I can't do a thing with Nellie Bell. I don't think she likes me. Yeah, she can be a little contrary. Well, I wouldn't think of taking Nellie Bell. Why don't you go? Leave you here alone? Not on your life. Oh, Pat, be sensible. I'll keep out of sight, and besides, you'll be back in an hour. Well, all right. Looks like a ghost town to me. Yeah, even the stores are closed. Well, let's get going. We've got to get some ammunition. Yeah, we got to eat, too. The place don't look right to me. Could be we're walking into a trap. Well, let's take a look around. There's only a girl in there. She's wearing a gun. Come on, let's eat. I'm hungry. Why not raid a hardware store and get out of here? Because we're hungry. I haven't had a square meal since we crashed out. You and Wooden scout around the back. I'll take Newark and go in the front. You can come over here now and take our orders. We'll make it easy for you. Just give us all some ham and eggs. Thick slices of ham and plenty of eggs. A lot cakes on the side. And plenty of fried spuds. And hustle it up. We ain't got much time. You said it, brother. Warden, you better go back with her and see that she doesn't pull any tricks. Right. I'm going to give you one more chance. And if you don't start, you can just stay here. Oh. All right, stay here. Maybe tonight when it gets dark, gets cold, you'll wish you were in your nice warm shed. Well, 
Let's not hold this for a while. Yeah. See that girl. Maybe she can tell us what we want to know. Right. you to do is show us Thatcher's cabin, that's all. Thatcher! Don't try and kid us, you know. He's been living around here for a year under that name. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know anybody around here by the name of Thatcher. I guess you'll just have to find it yourself. <laughs> On your feet, you two. We'll lock them up in the sheriff's office, Pat. I don't like to get rough with a lady, but are you going to show us or not? I'll show you. Mr. 
Sharp will be surprised to find those two locked up. And what about those other two? Hey, they're still on the loose. We better see if Dale's all right. They must have had her tied up and bullet shooting through the rope. Yeah, and they came back before he got her loose. I wonder why they'd take Dale. I was wondering where they'd take her. Look, T.H. Dale's tried to leave us a message. Say, was anyone around here today whose initials were T.H. or their name started with T.H.? Yeah, come to think of it, Thatcher was here. Dale asked him to stay and help us guard the town, but he wouldn't. Why not? Oh, he said he had his own precious property to guard. It's funny he wouldn't stay and protect Dale. T.H. She must mean Thatcher. We better get out these cabins. Bullet, you stay here. You've done enough for today. Roy, I can't go. Nellie Bell's fall down the road. Well, take one of those horses the convicts left. A horse? You know what I'm here for. Now listen, man, sir, you got me all wrong. I didn't get a dollar of that money. You squealed to the cops. We got life. And you come up here to wait until things cool off. I don't know what you're talking about. Save it, Thatch. We've had our finger on you ever since we were sent up to the big house. Now come across. We gotta get going. He's inside there, but he's wounded. You know, he's the real leader of this gang, but he double-crossed him, so they came back to get him. Hey, Roy! Roy, look here! I got my clothes back! <laughs> Mustard and custard. Hey, that's that stolen money they were talking about. Yeah. And here comes the sheriff. He's in for a surprise. Hi, Roy. Hi, Sheriff. Dale. Hi. Well. Now, isn't this great? You lolling around here in luxury and everybody else riding themselves ragged looking for convicts. You just didn't look in the right place, Sheriff. Where, for instance? Well, two of them are in your jail and the other two are around back. Go we'll round them up, Pat. You better take care of this, Sheriff. Where'd this money come from? It was stolen from the bank by those convicts and Thatcher. Thatcher? Yes, Thatcher. I overheard the real reason he settled in Mineral City. Maybe he'd like to tell you about it himself. He's inside there. Oh, he is, huh? Hey, sir! <laughs> Here's your prisoners! <laughs> Just like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> a barrel, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails to you.